<laughs> All right, here we go. This is our review. Hello, uh, blog world. My name is Jim Mayers. You've probably never heard of me before. Um, I don't expect that you would. And I certainly don't, ex I would be surprised if you read my blog at all. But in any case, I get a, I get a great email the other day from Troy Dekoff of Classroom Friendly Supplies. And he says, um, I, would, I, I would like to offer you a free pencil sharpener for you to review on your blog. And that's where this video is going to go. It says, I rely on grassroots word of mouth and I am seeking established education or bloggers. Uh, to help get the word out about this fantastic pencil sharpener. I came across your site when searching for the best educational blogs. I haven't found it on any list of that, but I was very impressed with your site and believe that perhaps your audience would be interested in hearing about these amazing pencil sharpeners. So, audience, here we go. We're going to review this pencil sharpener from uh, Classroom Friendly Supplies. It came in a free box, which is great. Um, it's a good, solid box, which, you know, well-traveled. We have some invoice, good packing slips, so clear, clearly there's been care taken. Um, interesting. So it's a crank pencil sharpener, uh, which is, well, that's great. Um... We have a thing I should throw away there. And we have a little piece here. I imagine that this is the mount for where we should mount this. Um, it comes in a nice blue, very soft, very nice color. Uh, two little toggles. Oh, look at that. You have a little toggle here where you can adjust the width of the pencil, which is very nice. And a tray here has this. Oh, ah, look at this. Genius construction right there. When the tray gets um, full, you just take it right out and empty your shavings. It appears to be very solid stainless steel crank mechanism. Uh, I imagine that this, I will say in all honesty that this is solid construction. I mean, this is not a pencil sharpener that you'd buy, you know, at your local Kmart. This Throw is it. This, this is good. This is I'm I'm impressed with this. Throw it. Take it right. No, I don't want to throw it. That would be irresponsible. Use of my classroom supplies. Oh, how do I get this back in here? Okay. Locked and loaded. We have a let's see if we can mount this sucker right on here and try it out. I'm confusing, but Okay, well how does this, how do you think this works here? I don't really understand the mounting system. It's probably far more intuitive than it's, than I think it is. I guess it would be, what the heck? Well this isn't the, yeah, can you show me? Yeah. No, you, no, she wants to not be, do you know how to do this? I would think, put that back on. Put, put, put the back slider on. back on? Put okay. Back on. All right. Put this guy right back on. A uh, wing nut is what these are called. Yes. I used to I call my sister a wing nut. Oh! And then you gotta yeah. do, it, do it here. Yeah, we gotta do it. We'll, we'll do it on the side of the seat. I, so, okay, I am I am impressed here because, just because I, yeah, just because I was, uh, you know, not the smartest tool or the sharpest bulb in the shed or whatever you call it. <laughs> now, okay, here here we're presented with a, a bit of a problem because we have the mounting mechanism doesn't seem to be... Tightening? Well, it seems to be tightening, but the issue is it it's not quite all that stable here. You don't, you don't want the pencil sharpener flying off the table mid-sharpen. It would be unacceptable. It appears to me that the that the thing needs to go all the way through here. This looks to be like what you're supposed to do. You see what I mean? So I I think I think somehow this is supposed to come off. Alright, so so far there's a negative negative aspect of this pencil sharpener, but maybe I is there directions? Men, they don't ever read the directions. You know? <laughs> Men. All right. 
No, no directions, directions on here. Okay. Well, I'm telling you what. Okay, there appears to not be any directions, so I would I would suggest including some mounting directions here because I'm I'm a little bit confused about how to mount this pencil sharpener. Um, but it just doesn't. It it seems to me like you gotta somehow get this through, and this guy. Somehow should lock down. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not so. Uh, you gotta be honest on this mounting mechanism. Uh, I don't I know. I think it was right the first one because it has those no, like the no slide grips. Like yeah, that. it's got. It does have the no slide grips, but see the problem is that it's kids, if you take your physics classes, this is what you'll learn. Um. Yeah, I, I guess you're supposed to put it in here like that and mount it, but there's no, it'll, it pulls it down is the problem. All right, so my, my, my constructive criticism here so far is that the mounting mechanism could, could be improved, but that doesn't necessarily say anything about the, the quality of the sharpening mechanism. So, all is not yet lost, but I, 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 would, I would perhaps recommend it. Maybe it's supposed to go, okay, all right. Oh yeah, sure, look at that. Yes. That's good, right there. It's working. I suppose you just don't want to tighten it up too much because it'll start to pull the sharpener down, but that's, that's, that's on there. That's on there. Sturdy construction right there. Yep. That's good right there. I suppose that's a pretty good mounting mechanism. And the nice thing about this is portable. It's easy to do. Um, don't need any screwdrivers. The kids can take it. Kids, kids could, yes. This is much better mounting mechanism than I had previously thought. You can see through the drawer and know when it's full. And you can see, yeah, you can see through the, exactly. That's very good. Very handy. Okay, now here's a test. We have one dull pencil. I'm not, I'm not too sure what this little guy does here, but this one, it will slide it right through and it locks it right. Locks in. Suppose. Maybe. Yeah, it locks it right in. It's very good. That's very smart. Um, so do you have to hold the pencil? Does it exfoliate for you? Maybe you don't have to hold the pencil. That would be excellent. No, I think, oh, that's not good. Maybe, apparently you do have to hold the pencil. Oh, what's this? This is, this is something, well, I don't know what to say about it. That. Well, maybe I broke it. Maybe it's meant for a right-handed person. That would be dis that'd be discriminatory. If you ask me. It's supposed to be an equal opportunity sharpener. It's 2015. You know what I mean? I don't know. Well, try the other lever. This is doesn't appear to be going very well. <laughs> okay. Well, I don't know. Because now I can't. <laughs> I can't, uh. I can't get this back in there. I don't know how that would work. I don't. It's not looking good. Well, the good news, I don't know, if we keep a growth mindset here, and we have, because remember we thought the mounting mechanism wasn't good, and that we turned did. out to be pretty solid? For 10 minutes. So, oh, look at that. There oh. we go. It's in. Okay. I don't know here. Crank it on the right-handed person. Okay. Try this one.
Maybe it's discriminatory. Yeah, it's not equal opportunity sharpener. All right. Well, it's in. I'm, it's frankly, it's a little bit tenuous construction here with the sharpening mechanism. It's very smooth there. It's like a Cadillac of a sharpener. Oh, but see, now we have a problem again. Okay. It appears to me. Oh wow! Look at that. Nice. Only three cranks, really, to make a dull pencil into. I must say, very good. You just gotta be you gotta be careful here though because I'm not really too sure what the purpose of this part of it is. Maybe it's your second season sharpened must, yet. Well it must have some function. There must be some read maybe maybe you've got super long pencils or something. I don't know. I mean it, it's it's an impressive feature. I'm just not too sure what it what it's for. We have but I will tell you. It was quiet. The nice thing, the a Brent. No, I don't have too many Brent. But the nice thing about this was it's very quiet. And one thing that I don't like about those electric pencil sharpeners, it sounds like there's a lawn that kid's got some sort of, you know, seventeen-cylinder lawnmower cranked up in my classroom. This sharpened very quickly, very quietly. This was actually, I was actually pretty impressive once I figured out the thing. Um, I, I, students are gonna mess up this up, though, most likely. If they don't know how to use it, you teachers out there better plan a classroom-friendly supply mini with some of these sharpeners. Um, and make sure that, it, yes, it's only cranks one way. Because you don't wanna. Well, do you, let me try that on the pencil here. See if we can't crank it the other way. So you want to put it right in there. It does crank the other way. This is in my Was that? I, it appears to crank now both ways. No, you only go one way. Only sharpens this way. So it does discriminate. It's a discriminatory pen sharpener. Yeah. So. Yeah, you want you you want to you want to open up the little slide here because there is a grip, and it and it you want to put the pencil all the way in. And you want to give it a couple cranks. Three cranks is all it takes really to make a phenomenally sharpened pencil. Well, the issue <laughs> the issue now here is it's got a little because because what the thing that you want to be able to do is continue to push the pencil in as it is sharpening to create a fine point. And this and this grip here just it doesn't allow you to do that. You gotta continually adjust. Oh that's probably what that's for right there. That's probably why that thing exists. So you want it look at this. This was a much more complicated pencil sharpener than I gave it credit for. Because you, you you pull it out and then oh yeah isn't that fancy? That's something else. And then it pulls it in nice and tight. I tell you what, that's pretty phenomenal right there. It's just a little confusing at first. And you pull it out. Very well sharpened pencil right there. Sign my name. Excellent job. It's a great pencil sharpener. I would, I suppose I would just recommend directions. I mean, te you, if you're in a teaching world, you must know how important directions are, because even even brilliant guys like me had a little bit of trouble figuring this out. But all in all, I'm I, I really am impressed with the with the quality of the pencil sharpener. Solid construction. It's got a good mechanism for continual sharpening of the pencil. Um, great, great color. Nice and. It's a calming, intellectual color. Um, I, I, I would highly recommend this pencil sharpener, it would, once you figure it out. It's, it's well constructed, solid. I think two thumbs up for the pencil sharpener. That's good, very good.